Meghan Markle here. Today is March 4th, 2024. It is 12.53 a.m. Um, I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to have today. Well, yeah, this the list that I have here for this video, um, it's about 15 tweets. And I have a group of tweets, another group of tweets that will be on PYTE that's regarding Harry um, Megan's visit to the children's hospital. I already have one video on that on PYTE, so that will be the second one highlighting it. Okay, so we will be focusing on some random tweets that I it took me a while to put this list together because I was not really on Twitter yesterday. Okay, so let's look at some numbers. Feel free to skip. And I just saw this note right here. Uh, don't miss out on the benefit of promoting your products on YouTube. Fill out the survey so we will explore ways to help you. Um, I need to work on my shop and all of this, but usually by the time I get to it, I'm so exhausted. I really need to work on that. Okay, so these are the numbers. Feel free to skip. This is nothing major. This is for record purposes. 3,884 subscribers. New subscribers, welcome. This is the amount that I have so far. $268.92. Analytics. In the last 48 hours. I'm surprised it's only that low because, oh well. 2,699 views in the last 48 hours. And there's the subscription and there's the estimate. Let's go on Twitter. I believe this is the first one. I've already put it, right? Okay, so let's get started. Singapore's officially refused to host the 2026 Commonwealth Games. Malaysia's already refused to host after original host Victoria, Australia, ditched them. Alberta, Canada has also withdrawn its bid to host the 2030 Games. Time to read the room, okay? Beating a dead horse. All right, so let's see here. Okay, I don't see the dates on that. Singapore rules out hosting the 2026 Commonwealth Games. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, there's no date because I remember sharing this before. Something similar, not the exact same thing, but something like that. I wanted to see what date this was written. Singapore, the search for a new host for the 2026 Commonwealth Games continues, with Singapore deciding not to make a bid to organize the upcoming edition of the multi-sports event. In a joint statement issue on April 3rd, Commonwealth Games Singapore, CGS, and Sports Singapore said that, quote, they have studied the feasibility of hosting the 2026 Commonwealth Games and have decided not to make any bid to host the game. It is yet another blow for the event, which remains a limbo after the Australian state of Victoria, the original host, pulled out due to escalating costs. The budget had ballooned to a $7 billion, what? From the original estimate of a $2.6 billion. So, okay, I would like to see more in the, as much as, you know, yeah, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> Forget what I was thinking. Commonwealth anything is not the vibe. I knew Malaysia had refused, but hadn't heard Singapore refuse. The, oh, maybe that's where I got confused between Malaysia and Singapore. Because I know I read something like that. I'm in the same boat as this person if she didn't mention it. Okay, I think it's time to come and game gave up. Commonwealth game gave up. They have a humiliation fetish. Bringing him co-hosted again. They have 26 uh, million pounds, right? Oh, that's regarding the Invictus. Yeah, 
exactly and the room thanks they're vile and want nothing to do with them <laughs> and i love it uh, right? I never knew Singapore was a British Commonwealth country. It is, yes, but it's also a republic. Very interesting. Okay, that is precisely the UK is scrambling after the Invictus Games. Can you imagine the IG and the UK? All the news will be about the royal family, riff and reconciliation instead of the incredible veteran athletes. Yep, um, I was thrilled and whooping it up when I read that in the news. Thank you, Singapore. Commonwealth Games Singapore and Sports Singapore. Wise decision. They won't regret. There's that here. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. I mean, they're spending million dollars, okay, if you go on our part of your service where I believe someone in defense was making a bid to host uh, the IG. So if they have that money for the IG, they could do the Commonwealth game. Okay, the hunt for a new scapegoat and new punching bag continue. What happened to all the secret weapons? Archive link. Okay, so she put the archive link. Okay, time for Beatrice and Eugenie to step up. York sisters, who are marked as vicious, work shy, and frivolous in Channel 4 show, the Windsors must now share her load of engagement with King Charles and Kate of Duty. I don't know what to say. And they, you know, why is it Beatrice is not living in the UK? She's with her husband somewhere, you know, due to her husband's work. So... They're not tax funded, so well, at least for Eugenie. I don't know about the other one, the older sister. That's their problem. Okay, can the Spice Girl step in? More people will show up. Excellent point. And all of this, they don't seem to be calling a Prince William who is hell and hardy. That is true. They don't mention him at all. He took the exit step really quick after. He put his name next to the picture that he claimed he took of his wife, and then they find out it's fake. Oh, my goodness. Uh, right? Come on. I thought my man Edward was going to take over, and his girl, Sophie, who was the secret weapon. Secret weapon. That was yesterday. <laughs> the world family and British media are voracious beasts. Everyone must now give up their own lives, apparently. Yeah, that's the way they roll. I believe that's what they want people to do. But for them... While you're struggling to survive, they're sitting, their feet up, and just relaxing. And then they expect you to do everything. Next tweet. This is another one here. Different caption. Okay. It's Prince William and a treatment facility he can't leave. Why are they calling on everyone to do royal duty except the future king? No one thinks this is strange. Okay. So that's, she retweet what I just uh, read before. Let's see here. Uh, very strange. Even when folks are discussing Regency, it's just where they act like he's not right there. <laughs> Betty Ford-like treatment. <laughs> That's the question mark. These people's whole lives are PR. Their position, safety, and security is PR. They could have had brilliant PR cancer stories, plural, with Kate and Charles. Instead, they opt for being shady, no shows. I'm telling you, every time they need to make important decision, it's always in the negative. Where are those kids? William couldn't have taken them kids to church on Easter. There's more. On Easter, where was that? Couldn't have taken them to church on Easter with their sick papa like they always do. Okay, whatever has happened, I'm sure the children are emotionally affected unlike adults. They are not good actors. The body language expert will have field day. It's best for them to be out of the camera's view. As much, I agree with this person. I agree. Okay, because when you there was something, it was it the Queen's funeral where the little girl, uh, William's daughter, something had happened, and then Camilla expected her to do something. I mean, these people are freaking you know what that's their problem, but I just hope uh, those kids don't turn out like William because, uh, my god, okay, they tried to make him go to rehab, he said no, no. Okay, we don't, I don't know anything about that. I'll go into that. Okay, where exactly is William? And why is Camilla acting as regent instead of the future king? I don't know. They, she must have something on him. I th she, let me go into that. Thinking more and more, I was right and saying William has been stood down. Question is, what did he do? Mm-hmm. She must have something on him. Because in the end, only Camilla will be left standing. <laughs> okay, because he's clearly not able to be a future king. Ah, 
the brother had his back, but look what he did to the brother. Make sure the brother left. All right, let's go into that and then the next one. Okay, they tried to make him go to rehab. He said, no, no, his daddy don't think he's fine though. There's the laugh here, perfect. Okay, so the, uh, Amy Winehouse. I remember when I, it's funny. I was not following her, Amy Winehouse, but when she died, I remember exactly where I was. I was on vacation where, uh, well, my second son wasn't born yet, but I was on vacation and then I remember when I got up, the first thing that I picked was my phone. And then that was the first thing that I saw. She died. And it affected me so deeply. I don't know why. This is someone I don't follow. I don't know much about her. But I was aware she's a musician. Musician, that was it. Okay? But anyway, next tweet. Um, the vacation that I was, I was in my cousin's house in Maryland. But anyway, next tweet. They never wanted to take care of her, and today, they're trying hard to stop her from taking care of herself and her family, trying to stop her from shining, trying to destroy her business, bullying, and trying to abuse a woman that lives in the U.S. Okay, this is the screenshot. King Charles did not want Meghan Markle to be a working royal, Harry said. Yeah, that was in spare. Um, I may have uh, the audio of that. If I find it, there it is. Driving us out into the fields. Asked about Meg. Not with great interest, just casually. Still, he didn't always ask, so I was pleased. She's good, thanks. Does she want to carry on working? Say again. Does she want to keep on acting? Oh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. I expect she'll want to be with me, doing the job, you know, which would rule out suits, since they film in Toronto. Hmm, I see. Well, darling boy, you know there's not enough money to go around. I stared. What was he banging on about? He explained, or tried to. I can't pay for anyone else. I'm already having to pay for your brother and Catherine. I flinched. Something about his use of the name Catherine. I remembered the time he and Camilla wanted Kate to change the spelling of her name because there were already two royal ciphers with a C and a crown above. Charles and Camilla? It would be too confusing to have another? Make it Catherine with a K, they suggested. I wondered now what came of that suggestion. I turned to Willie, gave him a look that said, You listening to this? His face was blank. Pa didn't financially support Willie and me and our families out of any largesse. That was his job. That was the whole deal. We agreed to serve the monarch, go wherever we were sent, do whatever we were told, surrender our autonomy, keep our hands and feet inside the gilded cage at all times, and in exchange, the keepers of the cage agreed to feed and clothe us. Was Pa, with all his millions from the hugely lucrative Duchy of Cornwall, trying to say that our captivity was starting to cost him a bit too much? Besides which, how much could it possibly cost to house and feed Meg? I wanted to say, she doesn't eat much, you know, and I'll ask her to make her own clothes, if you like. It was suddenly clear to me that this wasn't about money. Pa might have dreaded the rising cost of maintaining us, but what he really couldn't stomach was someone new dominating the monarchy, grabbing the limelight, someone shiny and new coming in and overshadowing him, and Camilla. He'd lived through that before and had no interest in living through it again. With their mentally unstable, sick demand, acting like they, one, are paying for her living, two, on her, three, or her master and she's their slaves, by which you Meghan Marco was never accepted as part of that family. The first thing Charles said to Prince Harry was, okay, let's see here. King Charles III suggests Meghan Marco might carry on working as actor as Prince Harry was preparing to propose according to the Harry's book, Spare. Harry and Meghan will later ask the royal family for the chance to start a new life in America while working part-time for Queen Elizabeth II, a proposal which came to be known as half in, half out. However, back in 2017, when Harry was preparing to propose to Meghan, Charles suggests she continue with her existing career as an actress. And this aspect, let's not forget, while she was working and uh, in suit, and she didn't marry Harry yet, I don't know if they had already been, um, how do you call this, engaged. I'm not one. Hmm. 
this you guys could correct me on it i'm not 100 percent sure around this but i know they were not married yet but while megan was still working in suit the royal family was interfering in the script of suit they made things very impossible for the creators of suit that's when they were still trying to sabotage her career if that had happened let's say megan continue acting and then she married harry and all of that they will want to continue that same aspect to control her life and sabotage her these people are you evil may god give them exactly what they wanted for harry and megan my goodness, this is pure evil. But let's continue. Had the couple taken up the idea, Megan would have been earning money independently as the couple will later request and the royal will later reject. And then this is the other crazy thing. They make us believe that they were taking care, they meaning the institution, the royal family, was taking care of Harry and Megan. This is what they portrayed us to believe. But in fact, when we look at in the Dr. Sevier Spare and everything else that they put out, they weren't receiving anything. Look at Fragmore, for instance. They took it away, and then they, they already paid for the renovation, and they, they took it away. This, God, mm, if my human side start talking, whew. All right, let's continue. Spare described how Charles asked, quote, does she want to carry on working? Heavy writes that he replied, say again, before Charles repeat, does she wants to keep on acting? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Harry told his father, I won't think so. I expect she wants to be with me doing the job, you know, which will rule out suit since they film in Toronto. She's good, thanks. Does she want to carry on working? Say again. Does she want to keep on acting? Oh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. I expect she'll want to be with me. Doing the job, you know, which would rule out suits since they film in Toronto. Charles, and then the thing is that then they see the the engagement. They talk about that. Megan point out that, you know, she's been working on that for seven years and she's moving on and all of that. I'll put the clip where she said it. <laughs> and it's an immense change. You're, you're getting a new country out of it. Mm -hmm. um, a, a husband, obviously. But also oh. giving up, giving... <laughs> Giving up Sounds your nice. career. Yes, it's nice. yes. yes. But I, I don't see it as giving anything up. I just see it as a it's change. A, it's, a new, it's a new challenge. It's a new, it's a new chapter, yeah. right? And, and also keep in mind, I, I've been working on my show for seven years. Um, so we are very, very fortunate to be able to have that sort of longevity on a series. And for me, once we hit the 100 episode marker, I thought, you know what, I have, I have ticked this box and I feel really proud of the work I've done there. And now it's time to, as you said, work, work as a team yeah. with, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But do you have that sense of responsibility, Prince Harry, for what, you've, for what you're asking Meghan to do? Of course, um, that sense of responsibility was, was essentially from day one or maybe a couple of months in when I suddenly realized actually this is, you know, I've, I've, I feel I know that I'm in love with this girl and I hope that she's in love with me, but we still had to sit down on the sofa and I still, you know, I still had to have some pretty, you know, frank conversations with her to say that, you know, what you're letting yourself in for is, mm. it is, it's, it's a big, it's a big deal. And it's, um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't, it's not, it's not easy for anybody. Um, but I know that, you know, at the end of the day, she, you know, she chooses me and I choose her. Um, and therefore, you know, whatever whatever we have to tackle together or individually will always be us together as a team. So, I think I think she's capable. It's so of, nicely said, isn't it? I don't know. But she's capable. Of, she's capable of anything. But for Charles to consider that, Charles is quoted as replying. Hmm. I see. Well, darling boy, you know there's not enough money to go around. I stared. What was he banging on about? He explained or tried to. I can't pay for anyone else. I'm already having to pay for your brother and Catherine. I flinched. Your brother and Catherine. Meanwhile, they have the Duchy of Cornwall. They have tax coming in. And meanwhile, Megan was the only one who was doing, Megan and Harry were the only ones who were actually doing work. Actually doing work. The money that the entire royal family was receiving at, from the taxpayers' money during her time, that brief moment, 
this is the only time I see that they truly deserve that money. Meanwhile, none of them were coming to them. Okay. The passage is interesting in light of negotiation over Harry and Meghan's status after they announced they wanted to step down as working royals in January. I mean, the way the royal, uh, the left behind make it seems like as if Harry and Meghan were losing something. And they weren't even getting anything to lose anyway. So leaving was the best thing. And then God, they all baggage for you. All right. Let me read some of the comments. Good. They didn't want her to be one. And now she's not. But neither is Harry. Careful what you wish for. Exactly. I cannot see that. They try everything to sabotage the relationship. Then the wedding. Then the marriage. Yep. The concern over unborn Archie's skin color. Uh, what did they think they were going to accomplish at that point except to hurt Harry and Meghan and steal their joy? This is evil. Evil minded. This is pure evil. When I say evil originated in the UK, every single day they're proving me right. This is where it started. Okay, join the try. Okay, that's an ad. Okay, after this, that's it. Um, he didn't pay her. Apparently, he was too broke, so she did the work on her own. That's fine. Going on seven years, I've watched an innocent woman of color, American citizen, being abused by a powerful all white British royal family with the help of a corrupt system. I'm even seeing OL websites doing their bidding, and no one has put a stop to it. Okay, that's a wrong no. I know it can be stopped. We just witnessed how they did it for the white one. And we trumped these messages for years via various lines. God doesn't like ugly and has little regard for pretty evil too. Always in his own time, God works his way. He first guided them from amongst the evil doers and set them on the path to thrive. Then dropped the rod of correction. Because he's a petty, crusty, duplicious old man. Megan outshine them all. Okay, so let's go to the next tweet. Next one. So there's that here. Megan Marco, Prince Harry. However, sources tell page six that rumors about a leak are untrue. I believe that. There's that pointing up. The way the British media reported about it is suspicious. But why? To make sure that Cape Middleton medical files are locked before they come with their next lie. Okay, I don't know anything about that, but let's see here. April 1st, 2024, three days ago. Kate Middleton's cancer video was watched by Kensington Palace after her diagnosis leaked report by Vanessa Serna. Okay, Kensington Palace reportedly watched to release the Kate Middleton cancer video after her diagnosis leaked. Hmm. This is I be, this is just excuses, okay? Things are not going according to the uh, the way that they plan it or People are not accepting the BS they keep on putting out, so they have to keep on covering themselves up. Okay, Kensington Palace reportedly rushed to release Kate Middleton's cancer video after her diagnosis leaked. A source close to the matter told the Daily Mail Monday that the palace attempted to get ahead of the news after an unknown person found out, uh, found out about the Princess of Wales' health condition. Could that be the... Uh, what is it, the Spanish uh, newspaper? The insider then clarified whether the leak came from the London clinic where the princess underwent abdominal surgery in January or elsewhere, according to the outlet. However, sources tell page six that rumors about the leak are untrue. I mean, what do you think they're going to say? It's true? If, if they wanted to say it's true, they would have come out and said it anyway. Uh, just asking because the whole story stinks. Anyway, whatever. I get the upset over things have been handled, but also ask that compassion uh, be factored in by my fellow squaddies. This is me this morning. Okay. Just finished round two yesterday. She may be doing the best she can give. Uh, she can give in. Where is it at? Okay. I'm sorry. I, I hope you get better. But uh, why, this, why are they lying? I mean, I don't want to... This is not making reference to her directly. But why the lies? Look how easy it is. She's here showing herself like this. Because why can't the others do the same? If she's that ill, people will understand the compassion of human nature will come through. Why can't she show herself like this? If she is still alive 
or whatever it is that they say she had. Why can't they do this? People will understand. But it's the lying. Okay, make us believe one thing when it's not. Okay, I under I truly believe it's not Kate's fault who's doing all this nonsense. Whoever's doing it, because he was the first one who put the first picture out. They put his name in it, give him his credit that he took the picture. He wanted praise. Why did he have to do that? I've said it in other video. They could have the children sitting next to her reading cards or whatever. A simple picture. All right, she will cover herself or whatever. But why do they have to go to the extent of lying? Lying is hard. Okay, lying is hard because you're painting a picture that's not true. So you have to make the extra effort to think, okay, the perception of what you're trying to do and how the person is going to perceive what you're trying to uh, portray or paint out for the person to take. It's a lot of work. But if she is sick, you just take a picture of her. It's easy. It's natural. People will understand. Look at this lady here. I understand what she's going through. I don't see anything bad of her showing herself like this because this is the exact moment of how she is. There's nothing wrong with that. Why can't they do that? But they have to go to the extreme to be perfect. Nobody is perfect. This is the nonsense that's going on over there. They want to be perfect, but everything that they do, they manufacture to show that perfection is just shown pure stupidity. Whew. Okay. Let's leave that alone. Okay. I'm going off. Next tweet. Oh my Lord. Wait a minute. Wasn't Princess Megan told she couldn't launch anything because Karen was going through some shit. <laughs> going through shit. Was this in UK cause of living crisis now? All right. Let's see here. The full guided tour will include rooms that are used by the king and queen when they stay there. Royal family, King Charles offers public a peek behind the scenes at Bomo for a hundred pound. Rooms in the royal residence where the king and queen holiday each summer will go on show to a limited number of visitors from early May to mid-August. I mean, this is a good idea, but the, is the hypocrisy. And the worst thing is that they're receiving money, taxpayers' money. They, where's my comment? There it is here. Okay. This is laughable. They are playing with the peasant. Peasant pay for their lifestyle. Peasant must pay to see their lifestyle. Peasant will most likely pay to go see it. Royal family will most likely will not be there to greet them. While the royal family all away, let the tax funded home make more money for them. My goodness. For the low, low price of 100 pound i keep on thinking thousand but it's just a hundred pound they are inviting peasants to go out at how they cannot possibly afford to live mm -mm -mm. um you can tell me tampon and coho are not trolling the media their friends the citizens of the uk as well as uh, kp don't even get me started uh 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 uh, speaking of grifters the royal family are the real grifters making the public pay to view their own assets there's a thinking face let's move on I saw it. I thought I shared it with you. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Next one. Megan visit a children's hospital and Sussex Squad rush to donate to the hospital's fundraiser. Kate announces she has cancer and all the derangers do is complain about Megan. They don't really care about me. They just hate Megan. Uh, the thing is that, um, oh, if you missed it on our part of pure service and pure YTE, I have a video regarding Megan's visit to the hospital. And the next video that I'm probably going to record is going to be about that as well. There's more videos of news outlet talking about it. So I wanted to share them with you. It's going to be on pure YTE. All right. Those we thought are not real Kate friends. They are just mentally deranged monarchists with vendetta toward Megan for dumping their supremacy cult. If Kate is not alive, they'll just move on and still keep Megan's name and their filthy mouth. God, they all owe your baggage to deal with. Give them something to keep them occupied. All right. Well, her friend did pay tribute by leaving a single tiny bouquet. Yes, I did see that picture. 
a little tiny bouquet out front of the palace. So there's that. <laughs> that is true. I, it was only one that I saw. KKK Rangers really don't care about her. They don't even know anything about what she does or support any of her charities. Isn't her charities all going closing? And then the last time she visited one charity was like, uh, um, if she ever went back after that one, well, not even back. It was a FaceTime thing. What is it? The uh, person said it's been seven years. Thank you. Nice to see you again. I was just looking at She's been a while since I last visited. So, um, yeah, definitely when, when things get back to normal, I'd love to come and say hello to the team and everyone down there as well. I think it was 2012 that you uh, were last here. No. Uh, it only seems like yesterday, Graham. It shows you how quickly time goes. <laughs> And I think she did that because Megan was doing some other thing. She had to show up for something. Okay, since I joined this bird app, this is the biggest difference I've seen. Harry and Megan have fans that love and support them. And the other ones have fans that are really only here to hate Harry and Megan. That's it. I know, I've been on Twitter for like uh, 2009. But I never act, you know, interact in it. It's when the hate you know that i kept on seeing about megan that i was like twitter must be the place to go let me see who else is talking about it i remember exactly what i was thinking let me see who else was talking about it or who saw what i was seeing meanwhile i stumbled upon the <laughs> ah, either tina or michelle next tweet all right there's that here one of baldy likes the ranch friends said He's never been in a scandal, never abused alcohol, never mingled with convicted sex offenders, etc. He is future king material. So I just <laughs> so I just wanted to leave this here because people think there are no receipt of his past behavior. It's because the, the tabloid covered it up for him very well. And then he make a deal with them while he's and he's so stupid too. Um while he make a deal with them, he continued to do his bad behavior and allow them to see it. Okay? And then when they caught him with one stupid things, and he goes back and repeat the same thing. So they have a lot of receipt on him while he's trying to be a perfect human being. You know? So there's that. Look at where his hand is. Sick. And then the person let him, let him do that. And there's him with PDD. He was there too. PDD and uh, Kanye. As a matter of fact, when one video is on, where did I have it? At probably PYTE, um, where they were meeting. I believe this was around uh, Princess Diana thing that him and Harry did. Okay, Kanye was there, and uh, they took pictures, you know, their photo up, and then Harry moved on, but he stayed there talking to them. I don't know. All right, so there's that is Peggy grabbing her boob. Yes, it is. Yep, Gopi Future King. Next tweet. Okay, so there's that here. The look you give when the smear campaign has been giving the green light to run over time, 24-7, to make sure to destroy their marriage in three years' time. May 19, 2024, will make six years losers. There's the laugh here. Solid. It's been a completely... It's been a complete failure and you cannot accept defeat. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll tell you the squad or something. Man, I remember the first time I came across this uh, uh, picture and I think I call it the looks, looks cool kill or something like that. I, remember, I think I have it in one of my um, thumbnails on PYTE. Look at Harry and Megan just smiling. And him miserable. My goodness, someone's happiness is it, paying them. Can you, can you imagine this? Because Harry and Meghan are happy and he doesn't like it. Meanwhile, he forgot about his own marriage. Uh-uh-uh. Next tweet. This is freaking ridiculous. I don't understand the mindset. All right. There's this here. This is another tweet, by the way. The other one didn't have any comment. They want to bully you in peace because hating you is a billion dollar industry. Well, the tide is turning and the money is drying up. The hate clicks or less. The U.S. press has your back and perceptions have changed. Continue to show up the good and never dim your light for MFing, okay? Soul, Meghan Markle. So true. Sooner or later, people have to realize that they can't win. We are here for her as long as she needs us. 
and did. Actually, Megan doesn't even need to say she needs me, but the stupidity that keeps on going. Like I said in one tweet and one comment, they could close shop for all I care. But if the hate continue and I have something to say, I will still continue. Okay, why is there so much hate in the world? I don't know. It's, that's the UK's product. The UK's product. They go around the world, spread stupidity, and unfortunately, the mind are so weak, they easily fall for it. Okay, why is there so much hate? Hating Megan makes them money. Megan Marco Jules turned hate into estimate $3.5 million industry on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, God needs to give them a baggage as well because <laughs> so much to say about that. All right, that was back in 2022. Sing the song, y'all. Megan ain't never going sees later that beauteous light shine all over us, the world over. All right, so there's that. Okay, so that's an ad. Let's go to the next tweet. Come on. I have at least four more. Yep, four more. Next tweet. So there's that here. Megan Marco will left Sharon Asburn needing eight months of therapy due to death threats. Where did that come from? I'm not going to click on it. That's the article here. Damn. Mm. She's a baggage for God. That's all I know. Okay, I hope Sharon sues Megan. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Megan have been minding her own business. For what? What is Megan gonna, uh, what is Sharon gonna sue Megan for? For being quiet and minding her own business? Let me go into that. Come on. Are you saying Sharon should sue Megan because Megan totally ignored Sharon? I hope you're not a lawyer. <laughs> for what? That's what I'm saying. True, she's, a, uh, she's broke. Alright, let's see here. Okay, Sharon is scraping the bottom of the barrel. By the look of it, she's scraping it with her face. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I don't like to make fun. We see. We have eyes, okay? So, I'm not going to say anything about that. 100%. She'll, okay, there's that here. There's the laugh. Sue Megan for what? Get real. She went on a zealous reality show and made Megan her prime target. Uh, Ozempic Riddle, bully with a bad red hair job. Uh, she should sue her plastic surgeon first. <laughs> For what? It was her and her family talking the mess. She never responded. That said, Megan won't even fought in her direction. <laughs> oh my God. You all choose to be obsessed with her, clown. Uh, she has power over all of you. Thinking isn't everyone, lady. You should probably try something else. Yeah, for what? It's like she's going to be paying Megan then. Okay, nothing to do with Megan. Sharing her in her mouth and found out. All uh, right, there's that. What Megan Marco wore. Megan never had any problem with Sharon. Megan never said anything about Sharon. It is Sharon that says nasty, disgusting thing about Megan. I'm against death threat, but I have no sympathy for Sharon. None. And what the F did she do to her face? There's that here. Uh, so that's that. Maybe, you know what? Let, let's just leave that alone. I always say baggage for God. That, she's a baggage for God. That's all. Let's pause this. All right. Uh, maybe, just maybe, if they spend less hours, energy, and time strolling on this platform, spreading misinformation, assumption, and their harmful, hateful views, and donate to organizations that help cancer victims and survivors. I thought I paused it. Okay, that's spreading lies and toxicity. All right, so let's see here. This is a TikTok video. Comments I've seen, and I understand that a lot of these are like bot and troll accounts, so I don't take all of them seriously, but the worst comments that I've seen are from the old white ladies in the UK. This is somebody's grandmother. Like, this, the comments that are made, like, I just always think, if your grandchildren saw this, like, would they still love you? Hmm. I wouldn't. Wow. <laughs> There's that here. That's a GIF. So she retweeted that, like the Sussex squad, can Princess Catherine of Wales' friends raise a hundred thousand exactly dollars for any charities? They rather go and hating. Okay, so that was a question. I mean, uh, a poll. It will be no. Let's see how many people said. <laughs> oh, there was hell no too. <laughs> I just said no. So there's that here. Okay, so. Kate Fenn are dysfunctional, poor, ugly, most single Karen, mostly over 40 of age, etc. They are lucky to preach hate speeches because social media doesn't care about hate or love. They don't care for her. They only like using her against Megan and she apparently like being used back. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, after this, that's it. Okay, I know, right? She's responding to this tweet. Not in this lifetime or next. <laughs> These men, women aren't here for Kitty. They're here to hunt hate and lynch Megan down. They haven't even prayed for Bond, and yet instead, they're watching what's happening in Montecito and the squad. That is true. And the thing is that, remember, there's one the video from, I haven't shown his things lately. Uh, he was talking, I have that video, I know where it is. Where he was making reference to why uh, people then vote for uh, for Hillary and all of that. And he could understand why white men are for Trump or something like that. And uh, the thing that he understand why white men want to vote for Trump was because they want to keep their narrative, the whatever it is that they're going. But he cannot understand why white women are voting against their best interests, where they want to support Trump. When we see the debacle that's going on in New York with Trump. But you still see white women wants to support Trump on, for presidency, despite all the nonsense you see going on. Dear white women, what the fuck is your purpose, huh? What the fuck is your purpose, huh? What the fuck is your purpose? Other than ruining the motherfucking casserole, what the fuck is your purpose other than voting against your better interests? What the fuck is your purpose other than running the motherfucking coals with expired coals cash knowing damn well that shit been expired since 2010? Talk about I want to speak to your manager. I want to buy something for my Timothy. It should be still be good. It seems like every year white women just keep getting worse. Aren't they getting worse? If you look at the electorate, white women continue to vote for Republicans. Every year it keeps going up. It keeps going up. So my question is... Why the fuck should we trust a lily white hoe? White women can't be trusted. Well, no, Kenny, don't be so mean to them. You know, white suburban women are going to get it together. No, you're not. If you ain't got it together then, you ain't going to get it together now. Y'all didn't even vote for your own white sister Hillary. Why the fuck should we trust white women? And the thing that's really pissing me off is we continue to call all these white women while we keep shitting on black women. We keep shitting on black voters. But we always put all this stock into white women that are never going to fucking show up for us. That's continue to vote against their own better interests. Because why the fuck? And, when I, and this is the other shit that it pisses me off. Well, shouldn't we tra blame white men just as much as we blame white women? Maybe. But here's the bullshit that I have a problem with that is. I understand why white men are voting. Because white men are voting for their own better interests. Which is keeping power. Patriarchy. It makes sense. But why the fuck do a white woman think that she even has a motherfucking say? If, he, if she's constantly voting for a white man who's telling her that you don't have agency over your own fucking body. And the reason why y'all don't want to teach critical race theory is not about what's going on in the past, it's what's going on in the motherfucking present. The thing that's confusing me is how the fuck can you hide what's in motherfucking plain sight? We see your lily white racist ass through the motherfucking winter. Hi, I'm Carolyn, and I want you blackies to know that niggers in this neighborhood have curfew, okay? So when the street lights come on, make sure you're in your home, because if you're hanging, you will be swinging. Let's keep it a hundred, let's keep it a buck. The real reason why these white people don't want their kids to learn about critical race theory is because they don't want their kids to grow up knowing that their parents are fucking monsters. Every fucking day, you guys wake up early in the motherfucking morning, look yourself in the mirror, and you know you ain't shit. You know you're a racist piece of shit. And you don't want your kids to know that you're a fucking monster. Okay, so this is what... I don't know. For some reason, this is what this made me uh, made me think of as I'm uh, reading this. But anyway, let's move on. I have the the video, so I'll put it next to it. So there's that here. <laughs> this is boozy. I'm telling you, he be throwing some shade. People are in my DMs telling me Dan Wooten was talking about me. I asked what network. <laughs> <laughs> I asked what network he was on and learned that he took shots at me from his YouTube channel. Sorry, I only respond to people who are at least semi-relevant. <laughs> I didn't share most of this stuff. The, he's no longer... Uh, after the police clear him for what uh, um, Byline had accused him for, I don't know if he's going to take legal action toward Byline if the police clear him. I don't know. But the network that he was working for dropped him. So now he moved to YouTube. And then through YouTube, he was attacking. I, I don't know. I don't even bother clicking. I didn't even bother looking to see if he's there. 
nothing okay this is purely irrelevant for me but seeing that comment <laughs> i wanted to share it with you because uh uh boozy was throwing shade okay um i asked what network meaning what television show is he on um i asked what network he was on and i learned he took shot at me from his YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, I don't respond to people who are at least semi-relevant. Look at the GIF. <laughs> Look at <it>. Boom. <laughs> There's that here, Mr. Buzzi. You are so wrong. Why you discriminate against mainstream and YouTubers? I'm sure that's a hate crime. LOL. <laughs> They're just being funny. That's a scratchy. Sleazy then, when he saw this tweet. There's that here. So there's me here. After mine, I'm moving on. Obscurity for the likes of him. Let's me laughing here. Hey, we, meaning I, and, and the, you know, subscribe, like, and share club. <laughs> there's that here. <laughs> Three people like it. And there's that. Boom. Let's move on. I thought that was funny. But anyway, next tweet. Squaddies, have any of you been contacted by the FBI, M16, or your local authorities? I've been waiting for them to show up for months. There's that here, still waiting. How did that uh, implosion go? Is it still happening? I replaced the window board and trims today, so missed it again, I guess. I went out to get the stuff after lunch, so maybe MI6 turned up then. They then leave a card anyway. Okay, oh, were we supposed to be contacted by the FBI? What did we do this time? <laughs> Are we breaking hearts and minds, hopes and dreams? LOL. <laughs> okay, I'll go into mine because there's one comment. What is that now? Okay, urge, that's an ad. Okay, it's graveyard over here, still waiting. I plan on throwing you under the bus as our ring leader. <laughs> Let me read that one. <laughs> me too. <laughs> the squad making fun of each other jody Vi is the one actually the next tweet that i have is it's her tweet she usually do the baby derangers so she's he's saying here i'm gonna throw you under the bus if they show up so there's my comment here there's one response to it okay the derangers people who complain every time the Sussexes appear, they threaten all kind of things. No one takes notice of them. All they have to do is follow the Twitter account to see how deranged they are. All right, so that's it. Let's go to the next tweet. And this is my last one for this video. Someone just likes something of my next tweet. So there's that here. Um, that's the baby deranger here. So she, she pretty much usually sums up what's going on. Okay, hard there, she visit a hospital and read to sick kids. And why did she take pics with the patient? Is she trying to outshine our warriors who only show up to cut ribbons? We don't care if she brought attention to the hospital's mission. Her visit should have been private. His Majesty the King must remove all titles. There's that here. Long time no see, baby. There's that here. As someone whose daughter spent many weeks in the hospital, they love volunteers like this. Reading, making bracelets, painting, anything to get the kids' mind of the present situation is always welcome. Royalists pick the weirdest hills to die on, don't they? <laughs> That's very interesting. There's to comment here. I hope her daughter's doing well. Okay, in my day, they call it candy stripping. We got badges for it and Girl Scout. Okay. I never been in Girl Scout. Never wanted to. Okay. After this, that's it. Let me read bottom up. Spot on. That's the exact wine coming from the salty Derenger babies. This makes me smile. Okay. Our good sis Megan is not even bothered by the noise of every miserable UK talk show or media and friends of KP planting daily stories while asking for Karen privacy. She is out here doing more good for children, battling real life sickness, bringing attention and inspiring. Okay, service is universal, compassion and action, love when always. I love seeing the Devenger baby. It means Harry and Megan did a thing. There's a laugh here. Not sure at all, but I saw somewhere the hospital is who took pictures and video and posted them. Ah. Oh very interesting they have a page of people who have come to read uh, for them so it makes sense very interesting i didn't know that but i saw the thing were flying on my uh timeline 
Yes, you're correct. Megan's story time was part of a month long campaign that the hospital put on every year and they take and post the photos. Other celebrities participate as well. The people whining about her bringing cameras are loud and wrong. LOL. Okay. So that's that. I'm done with this. I'm probably gonna do another video that will be on PYTE. It will be this tweet, okay? If you see it, you see it. I'll start with that, okay? So that will be on PYTE. All right, so please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you wanna see, I'm laughing now because I was reading the thing about Boozy with, uh, was it then Wooten? <laughs> the please, what is it? subscribe like and share club <laughs> but anyway yeah seriously if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you all right so that's it so hop on to pyte and check um some of the videos there all right so that's it thank you for watching It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.